Steve Irwin's son says he's honored to walk sister down the aisle. Steve Irwin's son Robert has spoken out about walking sister Bindi down the aisle. When she gets married Bindi announced that she would be marrying her childhood boyfriend Chandler Powell in July. The wedding is set to take place at Australia Zoo, where the pair met when Chandler was touring the country six years ago. She revealed that her brother Robert would walk her down the aisle at her ceremony. Robert, 15, is excited to be asked to play such an important role in his sister's big day. Speaking to people, he said, oh, I was just so so stoked. I was so excited and really honored for her to ask me to walk her down the aisle. I think it's going to be such a wonderful day, such a great celebration. Chandler is absolutely perfect. I can't fault him, he's awesome, speaking to Entertainment Tonight recently, Bindi said, it'll be really important that Robert walks me down the aisle. I'm always so grateful that Robert is there, and he has been such a big part of my life and he's always stepped up and been the one to give me a hug when I need it and encourage me forward in life. So he will definitely be the one to walk me down the aisle when the time comes, and I think that will make it really special, Robert has already been putting Chandler to the test, giving him tasks at the zoo. He said, I've got him in there feeding crocodiles and doing all this crazy stuff and he's just willing to do just about anything and he's such an awesome guy. So I'm happy for them both, and I think they're an amazing team. The wedding will take place at the zoo, it was founded by Bindi's grandparents and made famous by her dad Steve, who sadly passed away in 2006. Bindi shared a moving Instagram post, which read, Dad, you would be so incredibly proud of Robert. He has been such an amazing support during this beautiful new life chapter. I know you'd be beaming with pride when the time comes that he walks me down the aisle. I wish you could be here for these moments, but I know that your spirit lives on in us.